name's Graham Irwin. I'm a consultant urologist, part-time at the moment at York Teaching Hospital's NHS Foundation Trust. Essentially, a urologist is, an, is a surgeon whose, whose main interest is dealing with disorders of the urinary tract. That would be kidneys, bladder, prostate in the males, and urinary incontinence in the females. We started um, our initiative in the Males Health Evenings in about 2008-2009 in association with the, the Vicar of the Church um, at Weldrake where I attended and also with uh, Bishop Martin Wallace, the Bishop of Selby. Believing that was, um, there was an area that was underrepresented in the church and for example our first meeting was held on a very rainy night in, in January and about 65 uh, blokes turned up for an evening where we gave talks on specific male health issues like alcohol, cardiovascular disease, diet, lifestyle. Men are notoriously, um, shall we say, backward at um, exploring their own health issues. Um, the reason why we die five years younger than females is because we don't engage with primary care practitioners, we don't look after ourselves properly, um, we ignore the warning signs of disease as it creeps on us until perhaps a point in time that's too late. We, we need to think very carefully about what initiatives we can put on to actually engage men to think about their health issues. Um, we, we did a, a men's health gig in St Paul's Holgate entitled, tongue-in-cheek somewhat, Beer, Nuts and Bishops. This was, this was great fun and um, a fair proportion of men actually came to that uh, event who had previously never darkened the door of a church. Um, it's difficult to gauge the impact of um, such evenings, but I know from my personal experience of other events that I've held, um, that one man certainly uh, on the basis of information that we gave out at the evening sought a consultation with his general practitioner because he was having a few problems with his prostate and eventually was diagnosed with prostate cancer and actually had curative treatment. Having been ill myself and, and, and recovered, um, I think it affects you in two ways. Firstly, personally, and, and secondly, how you relate with other people or, or your patients under your care. Um, in terms of how you relate to other people or patients, I think it gives you a lot more empathy in, in your dealing with them. You understand what it's like to have um, surgery. You know what it's like to go under with anesthesia. You know what it's like to have a drip in the back of your arm a big line in your neck, a catheter in, etc, etc. And, and you just understand it more, therefore you can describe to people what it's like. Because a lot of people come to you, they're very frightened. And I think if you've been there, uh, you, can, you can help them on their journey.